etched into the desert landscape along the Colorado River lies an intriguing collection of massive geoglyphs known as intaglios. These ancient figures were created by scraping away the dark desert varnish revealing the lighter soil beneath and then stamping it down to form the outlines. No one knows for certain who crafted these artworks, though they're believed to date back to prehistoric times. The Native American tribes of the region, like the Mojave people, have not claimed direct responsibility for their creation, but the entitles hold ceremonial significance. The term Aha Makab is translated to mean the river runs through the middle of our body, the same way it runs through the middle of our land. To the Mojave, the life-giving waters of the Colorado River are intrinsically tied to their existence and identity. This mighty river, carving its path through the harsh desert landscapes, served as the sacred lifeblood upon which their ancient civilization thrived. More than just a water source, it provided a connection to the spiritual world and their creators. In 1931, pilot George Palmer first spotted some of the massive geoglyphs from the air and photographed them, bringing the public attention to their mysterious desert markings. Malcolm J. Rogers documented many more of the intaglio figures during an archaeological survey, providing some of the earliest dedicated studies to these prehistoric land artworks. While well known to local tribes, the aerial photos and expedition reports introduced the Blythe intaglios to the modern scientists and sparked investigations into their origin. We visited a pair of intaglios depicting what's known as the twin figures, two humanoid figures presented on top of each other. The twins are located just south of Laughlin, Nevada, in a town called Fort Mojave. The figures bear likeness to Mastamo and Kata, the hero twins of the creation myth. Mastamo is pictured on the blithe intaglios with stretched arms, which are supposed to indicate that he's protecting his people from destruction. He was said to save his people by gathering them in his arms and taking them to the Spirit Mountain, currently located north of Laughlin, near the Grapevine Canyon petroglyphs. The figures stretch an incredible 150 feet across from the top of the head to the bottom of the feet. Strangely, while the torsos are deeply etched, the limbs and heads are often merely faintly sketched. Like the other intaglios, this geoglyph was formed by the painstaking process of scraping away rocks and the desert's dark rock coating that forms over time called desert varnish. This is the same desert varnish that's removed to make petroglyph drawings. The lighter soil is revealed beneath while the darker rocks are removed. The site is on a bluff with at least a 30-foot drop off the side running toward the Colorado River. Archaeologists believe this immense work was created somewhere between 900 BCE and 1700 CE, though the original purpose remains a mystery. The larger figure with the prominent head and attached limbs is thought to represent goodness. In contrast, the smaller twin lacks clearly defined arms and has a diminutive head. Some researchers hypothesize the intaglios mark stops along ancient pilgrimage routes or sites of sacred ceremonies like the Kurik, a mourning ritual that reenacted the creator's death and honored those who passed since the last Kurik event. These sites are always near the Colorado River, high on a bluff. As we stood beside these two long effigies emerging from the earth, it was difficult to make out their full forms or intrinsic details from the ground level. The Italio's details, barely visible to the naked eye, became more discernible through the lens. The camera revealed contours and stonework that had been worn down by time's steady hand. Amazed by the incredible scale and the skill required to create such an enduring mark on the landscape, we launched our drone to get a bird's eye view. From this aerial vantage point, the true artistry of the Italio's was suddenly revealed. The image on the screen was a portrait into the past, faithfully capturing what had been rendered into the rock generations ago by devoted hand. It was a moment of awe as the image appeared as the drone ascended above us. Sweeping lines etched into the desert stretch out before us, their design emerging with striking clarity. Despite the centuries that have passed, the eternal coexistence of the twins seems to radiate a powerful significance that was impossible to grasp when viewing the site from the ground. Seeing the full scale and precise rendering of these ancient desert etchings from above is a breathtaking experience. The sheer enormity of the humanoid figures and their creator's mastery is laid bare, leaving us to ponder the unknown stories and meanings that they have guarded for so long. What look like simple scrapings in the earth take on new life as iconic artworks that have amazingly endured the whims of nature for hundreds of years. How is this possible? 
Should you choose to witness the breathtaking beauty of these intaglios firsthand, remember that you are stepping into sacred ground. These sites hold profound religious and spiritual significance. Stay outside the designated fencing, leaving the intaglios pristine for future generations to appreciate and study their mystery. As we conclude this aerial journey, we hope that you feel as moved as we did by these monumental desert etchings. Their sheer artistry and perseverance through time is humbling. Don't forget to subscribe and like so you don't miss upcoming videos exploring more intriguing links into our mysterious past. For now, we're signing off amongst the towering humanoid guardians of the desert. Let's promise to meet again soon in another forgotten corner of the world. We're off the beaten path.